Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Adit. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about a very common problem which I get, or a problem, common question which I get from people. Like, you know, they want to know like what's actually a system design interview and what all is asked in the system design interview. Right? That's a very common question, and many people ask about it. So I thought to you know create a video on this. So, so that's the agenda of the video. So without wasting the time, let me just start on it. Uh, system design interview is actually of two types. Okay. Um, or in general, actually, system design is of two types. Um, the first type is the low-level design, and the second type is the high-level design. Now, the word low and high doesn't do not mean like something is very high or something is very low in in priority or something. It's just that they are named that way, right? Um, there is no relation to the priority wise, uh, like high or low. So, to explain them better, like what's the difference between low-level design and a high-level design? Let me take an example. So let's take an example of let's say you know messaging service. Um, so let's say you are designing a WhatsApp, and in in WhatsApp let's say you have to let's say interviewer ask you to design a WhatsApp. So what do you think you're gonna, you're gonna design in WhatsApp? So there can be two ways, right? One way is to um, you know come out come up with some classes, some code structure, some oops concepts. So that is actually is called a low level design. Another way is to you know design it on services basis. Okay, how do you create a scalable system? that serves messaging service right that for example you will create some queue you will use some database you will use some you know services and all so that is actually high level system they are very different in the way they are designed it is not that only one is needed in one of the services or in one of the system both will be needed in each system that you build is just that what is actually asked in the interview that depends on the interviewer so to clarify with the interviewer like what system design is he talking about you just need to ask the interviewer like okay um, you you told me what step system design but what do you expect from me do you want me to design a class diagram or do you want me to design a um, um, a system level components right let's take another example let's say you are going let's say interviewer ask you to design notification service or let's say you yourself are designing the notification system so in notification system um, you are going to use some let's say a queue which will be taking you taking up the notifications from various clients then there will be consumers who will be you know uh, listening to the events from the queue then they will be parsing it then they will be determining okay this event needs to be go sent to the sms this is this for the email this is for the push notification so depending on the type of notification consumers will take the notifications from the queue and then they will send send it to the end consumers during this process they might need some databases because let's say if there's some feedback mechanism if there's some failure handlings like if the notification was not able to send the queue itself will manage it but let's say if you somehow need some databases or some queues or some you know some caches and all then you will incorporate them so coming up with system like this is actually a high level design right it's a system level design or it's a system architecture kind of thing but now let's come to one component of it. Let's say you are just designing a consumer. So when while designing a consumer, you are taking a notification and then you are sending it to the end consumer, right? That's a part of the consumer. So in that part, you will actually be, you know, creating some classes. Like uh, if, if the message is from SMS, then you will create some SMS handler. If, if the message is from email, then you will use some email handler. So how you design your classes and what all OOP concepts can you use so that if some future requirements come in in the um in, in in the notification service then your consumer code does not change much I, i'll come to scalability of both of these okay what scalability means in each of these but the high level idea is or the not highly i should not use high level in both the terms over here because high level we are talking in terms of high level design but the general idea about the two designs is high level design is mainly about the high level picture that you are creating like systems services queues load balancers application gateways caches, dbs, you know, what are components or service level things that you're going to need. And low level design actually means that, okay, you, you, you get a particular service and then you are going to design that service and what all things do you need in that service, right? So that's, that's what you actually call a low level design. Now, since the systems are very different or the designs are very different in both the cases, so the scalability of both these things are very different. If, if, if you're going to say, you know, you want to design a scalable high level design versus a scalable low level design, the the you know the thing is very different in both the things right so so the difference is when you talk about scalability of high level design it generally means that you are going to create a design which can scale to more number of users let's say you are currently designing for 1 million users 
then the same design should be able to scale up to 10 million users obviously by using more number of nodes more number of computers more number of servers but your overall design should not change if you are using some queue that queue will remain as is um, if you are using some db that db will remain as is only thing that will change is the number of services or the number of not the services the number of servers backing these services will actually increase or decrease depending on the number of users increase or decrease right so that's what scalability means in terms of high level design you are actually increasing the load on the server for low level design when we are talking about scalability it does not mean increasing the number of users because that does not you know uh, that does not apply much over here the scalability over there means that you need to create a design such a way so that it is more extensible and maintainable for future use cases so let's say right now you are only handling sms email or you know on notifications let's say and tomorrow let's say you got an uh, got a feature request to support webhooks also so low level design should be in a you should be created in a way so that when webhooks request uh, come in your low level design should not change much uh, it should be scalable to future requirements high level design is should be scalable to future load right so that's the very fundamental difference between the scalability of both the things okay so i hope you got the difference between the two designs like uh, what's the high level design what's the low level design uh, and by the notification service and messaging service i give you a brief idea okay um, what 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 are expected from the interview from both of these now let me tell you the format of the interviews okay uh, so let's start with low level design so low level design is actually of two types first is obviously face to face you you are called in for an interview you are sitting in, in front of interviewer and you know you interviewer ask you a low level design problem and then you have to solve it that's for the first one second one format in low level design is actually of um, of a machine coding round so in machine coding round that it can be it can it can happen at your home it can happen you know uh, on premise you are called for the interview and then you know uh, you are asked to solve a problem and you know you are given 2 hours or so but machine coding round is actually expected you are expected to solve a particular design end to end so again if, if i give you an example so let's say a parking lot or a snakes and ladder system or low level system design problem is given to you so in the machine coding round you are given large number of hours or more number of let's say 2 hours 3 hours or sometimes they even give you a day or so right so and they give you one problem let's say parking lot or snakes and ladders or there are there are a lot of problems uh, in low level design in both actually low level design and high level design some of them i have created videos on you can find a link of those videos for both high level systems and low level systems in the description below but the idea is they will give you um, a, a problem to solve to create a design for and you are expected to come up with the end to end code of this that creating all the classes coding everything in all the classes then creating unit test and then you know you have to make a code which is compilable as well as runnable they will be you will be expected to create a code like this this is in the machine coding round you are not just expected to create some diagrams or you know create some flow and things like that you are actually expected to create a full flow a full code uh, structure and actually the full coding of that of the, of the problem that is given to you that's a machine coding round as i said machine coding round can be given to you in advance like a in, in a day or in a, in a day also can be given to you or they can call you uh, to their office or somewhere and they can ask you you know to sit down and for two hours or three hours and then you know code in in, in their office itself since nowadays it's, it's all covid and we are we are doing it from home like interviews are happening from home so even in in interviews from home what i have seen is companies are calling in interviewees uh, you know for two three hours like on a regular on a, on, a, on a single stretch and they will ask them to share their screen so that they can record them at their end and then they will ask the interviewees to code then and there they will not give one or two days um, 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 to the interview right so actually both the formats are possible you can be given uh, one day or two day or you can be given two to three hours like don't don't assume like since it's covid day so you will not be having two or three hours interview you can still have two to three hours interview of machine coding round because companies are doing that way second round uh, second type of round actually is the face to face round in face to face round since the time amount of time is limited you are only having 45 minutes or so so you are not actually expected to come up with the full design uh, i mean you are expected to come up with the full design but not the full coding of it right so mostly you will be required to create the uh, class diagram of it you are you will be required to you know sh uh, sh uh, tell like what what all flow will be there what principles are you using how you, how your class design is extensible how is it catering to future use cases so those kind of things you need to discuss with your interviewer you do not need to code completely in front of the interviewer right because again the time is less 
one thing that interviewer can expect you like i have seen in some companies which is that you can be asked to code a critical part of your code so for example let's say you are designing snakes and ladders right so you can design okay this will be a, a prop class or a snakes class ladder class this can be my board class this can be my player class you know those kind of classes you can create and you can say okay these will be my attributes but the crucial or the most critical class over here is the actual gameplay right how the gameplay will happen like you are you are asking each player to play then you are asking board to bo move the uh, move the player and you know and then deciding snakes and ladders those kind of things can be there that, and that's the most crucial part of the game right or, or, or the design so you can be asked to code that single function of gameplay like you know so that interviewer will understand okay the classes that you have designed that makes sense you are able to actually plug all the classes together to create a complete design and you can just fill um, you know dummy methods of your class classes that you have created and the full code will be there so only crucial method can be there uh, which you might be needed to code but mostly the coding is not much there that's uh, one format of face-to-face uh, -face interview another format of face-to-face -face interview is again when you are given a very abstract problem like snakes and ladders parking lot these are very these are the problems for which um, some coding or you know that cru uh, crucial method sometimes companies ask but there are some abstract problems like you know design a pen design a elevator design a vending machine design an atm machine so there are very uh, large number of abstract problems too which are asked in um, low level design so for those problems what i have seen at least is um, nobody goes into the coding of it they just ask you to create classes um, of it and then you know define the uh, what are what are the interfaces what all inher inheritances will be there so those kind of things are only expected so these are i mean mostly two types in f um, machine coding round and the face to face round in face to face you are expected to um, you are not expected to write full code in machine coding you are expected to write full code now coming to uh, high level system design in high level system design obviously there is no code at all that you are required to write but you have to think about you know scalability in terms of the larger load right that as i told you so you will be ex expected to create a design which can be scalable to more number of users or more number of requests in uh, that will that can come tomorrow right so let's say you are designing whatsapp uh, or let's say a notification service and you know you are designing it for million notifications per second or per day let's say whatever your current database is so you are you will definitely be asked okay how will your system scale when you have 10x load or let's say if 1 million notifications per day are ended right now so how about 10 million notifications tomorrow 100 million notifications tomorrow right so those kind of questions will definitely be asked how will your databases scale how will your services will scale right so those kind of things will definitely be asked in your uh, high level system design interview and just high level system design interview they are not um, like machine coding around and all they are only face to face that happen right Cool. Um, I think that's it in uh, in the difference of high level design or low level design and what kind of system design interviews you can expect. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you um, these things get cleared in your mind uh, from this video. If you have any questions, any doubts, just feel free to put them in your comments. If you have any suggestions, also just put them in the comments. Um, if you like the video, do like it and you know share it with your friends. And yeah, see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.